Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I'm going to share with you the page I created for June's Mission Inspiration Mixed Media Art Journal Challenge, hosted by Mike Deacon. Every month he gives us a series of prompts and we create a mixed media journal page. So this is my June entry and I had a lot of fun creating it. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Stick around. I'll show you how I did it. And don't forget to check out all the links when you're done. So let's get started. As per usual, I'm using my Delusions Journal by Ranger. I will put all the links to everything I use in this video in the description box below. I've already put down some masking tape here and I've decided not to gesso the page this time. I normally do, but we're living dangerously today. So just laid down some wax paper. And our first prompt is to glue down paper or fabric fragments for texture. And I've decided to use this cool paper stuff that I made last week for a project. It's just tissue paper and uh, acrylic sprays and decoupage on both sides. So very plasticky. And I'm just going to cut some fragments and we're going to glue them down. And I'll show you. Of course, I'm using my Americana decoupage to lay this down. And I have some in my palette dish. I'll just show you one and then I'll continue off camera but as far as I'm concerned you can't ever have enough decoupage and yeah this is super shiny it feels like vinyl or plastic so I'm just gonna randomly go around the page and I'll see you back here when that's done. okay guys here we have it I think it looks pretty cool but we're gonna cover it up as usual so our next prompt is to add texture paste. Stencil is optional. So this is the only texture paste I have right now. This is Liquitex modeling paste. And I am going to use an optional stencil. Uh, this is a new one for me from Americana and it's short circuit, which is like, you know, a computer circuit board. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cover the whole page. Actually, I'm gonna go down here the whole stencil and then lift and do up here. So let me just show you that. Mix this up. I also have a car, uh, like a plastic pharmacy card, um, which I think we will. I'm just gonna smear it on. This will look cool. We shall see. These uh, stencil feels a little delicate. I don't want to rip it um, with all these lines cut into it. this is gonna look really cool okay let me show you this bottom one and then I'm gonna do the top and I'll let it dry and come back ooh yeah I kind of love it what do you think very cool right that's, you know, again, I have to remember these kinds of things that I like. I should keep a notebook when I'm doing these journals because these prompts take me to places I don't normally go and then I always forget how to get there. So I need a GPS for my journal pages. All right, I'll see you when this is dry. Okay, so this is nice and dry now. What do you think? I'm really in love with it. I need to remember to do this. I think it looks super cool. And I'm a little sad that we're going to be covering it up, but 
here we go, taking the plunge. Our next prompt is to cover this entire thing with a thin layer of gesso. And uh, I'm just afraid we're going to white out everything here, but this is what I'm going to use, my Liquitex Basics. And I have my trusty palette dish here. I'm just going to put a little bit in and we're totally going to water it down like a lot because I want this to be super thin. So I have my little spray bottle and we're just going to add a lot of water here. I just want this to be a wash basically. And I just have an old brush. So I debated on adding color to the gesso, but as of right now, I'm just going to do with what I have. So let's just cover this whole thing up. Yeah, it's super watery, which is fine with me. I'm hoping that we're going to be getting some more color here somehow, but um, based on looking at the prompts, it doesn't seem like there's much, but, and when I do these challenges, I follow them exactly. I don't veer off the path, and maybe I should. Maybe I should just use them as a springboard, but uh, for now at least, I don't. I just follow them as they are, and they always take me interesting places. I thought I was going to have to use some more of that, but I see we we're able to cover the whole page here and use up everything that was in my dish. So I'm just going to leave it like that, let this dry again, lots of drying time on this project, and I'll see you back here with, with the next prompt, which is going to be add a focal image or images. Um, anyone who knows me knows that that's the part that I struggle with the most. So while this dries, I'm going to take a look through my stash and figure something out. So I'll see you back here. Okay, guys, I've decided to just create my own focal image, and it's the summer solstice this week, so I've decided to just do a very simple sun. Uh, this is some watercolor paper, and I have this circle template, and I just drew out some circles. I'll probably color these in, too. Maybe they'll be spirals or something. I drew a simple face, uh, very easy to do. I do these all the time. Um, I'll just show you how easy it really is. And I may use more than one of these, or, you know, I don't know. I just went through my printed images and I thought, you know what, let's just. That was really quick, obviously, but you can see it's nothing. You know, this isn't rocket science. So I'm going to use my Inktense pencils, which are colored pencils when activated with water, turn permanent. And I will use a water brush to do that. And basically, let's just take an orange. I'll just show you <clears throat> how that works. And these will be permanent. And yeah, they just turn every, turn into a watercolor. So let me paint these up. And like I said, maybe I'll turn these into spirals or I don't know, something. And then I'm going to cut them out and we'll put okay, them on. guys, I finished coloring everything. I'll show you where we're at. I'm not quite finished, but uh, this is how the sun turned out. And I'm going to continue to cut him out. And I'm also going to further embellish him. I have a Faber-Castell pit pen and a uniball white signal pen and a uniball black. These are all permanent, so I'll be doodling around the edges and maybe making some designs on his rays. And then we're gonna glue him down with my Aileen's Clear Tacky Glue. And I cut him out of the paper that we used, and then I took that paper, as you can see, there he was, and then I had originally colored the circles, like I said, with the Inktense pencils. Um, and then I decided, let me just spritz up the whole page because I may cut out some more sun rays from this paper too. 
Um, but I just kind of, you know, I can't do a project without pulling out my DecoArt Media Misters. So I got all my solar colors, really warm reds and oranges, yellows, and of course you got to throw a little violet shimmer mist in there too. So I just went to town with it and I will, you know, just be cutting out these circles and like I said, I may just use them as spirals or I don't know how we're going to use them. And if I don't use them, I'll save them for another project. So they will not go to waste. And, you know, I just like the look of the randomness of that. So just wanted to check in with you before you came back and the page was like looking much done. Okay. So I'll be back when everything's cut out and embellished. Okay, what do you think? I'm pretty happy with it. And, you know, the longer I look at this stuff, the more I'll find fault with it. So right now, I'm happy with it. And let's see where we're going next. Um, the next prompt is to stamp, uh, like a script stamp, or do hand journaling. Now, I do have a script stamp. I have one and it's in French. And I believe it's, it has something to do with flowers. So if you can read this, let me know and write it in the comments below. But I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna use a brown uh, ink, and this is uh, Stampin' Up! in chocolate chip. And I'm just going to, I do have a piece of paper if I wanna uh, protect you know, areas that I don't want stamping on. Uh, I don't think this much matters if it's upside down or sideways. So let's just see. All right, so we're just gonna put little areas randomly around the page and I'll be back and show you what that looks like. Alrighty, it is what it is. <laughs> I looked up the translation of the stamp and it translates to the flowers are beautiful or pretty. Les fleurs sont très belles. Something like that. Anyway, our next prompt is to add washi tape or paper strips. And here we are again outside of my comfort zone. Don't use a lot of washi tape, but I do have some. Uh, this was sent to me in some happy mail. So I'm just going to... I don't know. I, maybe I'll just kind of border it or let's see how that'll look. Is it too much? Something like that. And this is actually really nice because it's paper thin. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's so busy. But maybe it'll come together. But that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to border everything here and I'll fit it around these edges, and then I'll be back and show you what that. Okay, I, I kind of like it. It grew on me, you know. Um, the tape itself is really transparent. You can see what's beneath it, and I love buttons. I mean, who doesn't? And they're all circular, so that kind of ties in with the spirals and the, you know, it worked out. So the next prompt is to make marks or add splatters and I've decided to add some splatters, so I'm putting on a glove. I still have my wax paper here, and I'm going to use, I still have these out, um, but instead of spraying it from the bottle, I'm going to pour some, these are the shimmer misters. I figured yellow would blend in good, um, and I'm going to just pour some of this into my palette dish. And I'm going, it's pretty watery, obviously, you could see that. But I am going to spritz a little bit of water and just kind of get it nice and watery. And I have an old toothbrush, and I'm going to use that. But before I do that, uh, I don't want, really want to get the face, so I've just cut out a little piece of paper towel. And we're gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna go for it. Splatter away. I 
And yeah, I don't often use yellows and oranges at all, so it's kind of cool. All right, that's going to be enough before I... What do you think? Those are my splatters, and <laughs> I'll let them dry. Looks pretty cool. All right, so we have one prompt left, and that is to finish with a border or frame of your choice. And, of course, I already bordered it with the washi tape, but I think I'm just going to take the easy way out with that and go around, edge this probably with that Faber-Castell marker again, or maybe my black Stabilo pencil. So I'm just gonna edge it in black and then uh, that will be that prompt. But I'm not gonna do that until this is dry. So I'll see you back here when that's all done. What do you think? We're gonna call this finished page. I did exactly what I said I was going to do for a change and took my Faber-Castell pit pen. This one is a big brush tip and I just went around the whole outside I know how original took my water brush activated it a little bit to smear it out and here we have it so I enjoyed this uh, challenge this month a lot and I hope you did too so if you did please give me a thumbs up and check out all my links below all my social media links as well as Mike Deacon of course he is the Mission Control Master and check out his links below. Give this a try if you'd like. They're always a lot of fun and I'll see you guys very soon, okay? Take care. Peace and love.